Hi, I'm Melissa Tumoka. Here's your Channel's TV Evening News Recap for December the 10th, 2021. President Muhammad Buhari has dispatched a high-level delegation made up of the heads of the nation's intelligence and security services to Sokoto and Katsina states in response to the recent spike in bandit activities. The president says he is expecting an immediate situation report and recommendations on actions to follow to effectively deal with the worrying situation. Still on security, the Ima State Police Command has confirmed the gruesome murder of the traditional ruler of Ata ancient kingdom in Nunjaba local government area of Imo State, Edwin Azike, by gunmen. According to the command's public relations officer, Mike Abatam, the lifeless body of the traditional ruler was identified and recovered inside his vehicle along the road leading to the market square in the community earlier today after he was abducted Thursday night. Meanwhile, according to eyewitness accounts, four other persons were also killed in the community. And over to the latest updates on the COVID-19 pandemic, Nigeria has recorded 754 new cases of COVID-19 and one death. According to the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, the new cases were recorded in 11 states and the federal capital territory, with Lagos accounting for 595 of the new infections. Meanwhile, Nigeria has started the administration of COVID-19 booster shots days after the Omicron variant was detected in the country. On the international scene, at least 54 people have been killed and at least 58 more injured after the truck they were being transported in crashed. More than 100 people said to be migrants from Central America were crammed into the truck's trailer when it roared in the state of Chiapas. The head of the Chiapas Civil Protection Agency, Luis Manuel Garcia, describes it as one of the worst accidents of its kind in Mexico. And in sports, organizers of the Beijing Winter Olympics say they will mainly rely on chartered and temporary flights from cities like Tokyo and Singapore to bring in athletes for the Games. This is coming amid concerns over COVID-19 and tight restrictions on travel into the country. And that's the Evening News Recap. Don't forget to join us later for more details. I'm Mr. Walker. Thank you for watching.